it's a wonderful day today. I'm super excited. It's the YouTube Irish Creators Day. Um, this is the first time that they're hosting such an event in Ireland. So I'm so, so excited. We're expecting over 300 people. And the most exciting part is that I was invited to be on the panel. So I get to answer questions and I'm so, so excited. I'm looking forward to meeting more people. I'm here already, I'm sitting in a booth trying, I don't know if you can see this, I'm just trying to go through a few things. Um, of course, I don't know what the audience is gonna ask, but I wanna try to be as prepared as I can. Luke is here with uh -huh. me. Of course, of course, the second part of Adana Davi. <laughs> the second part of <laughs> I'm not gonna let Adana go to this alone. <laughs> I have to be here too. <laughs> Yeah. How are you? Are you ready for today? Well, of course, excited. So many people are already here, you know. I can't wait for so many yeah. more people to meet. So, yeah, super excited. Yeah. YouTube has a presence in uh, <laughs> London. So, that's our um, kind of European headquarters uh, where the YouTube partnership team is, is located. Uh, it's a very international team, it is a very international platform. So, we come from across Europe. And uh, so, today you're going to hear a variety of, of European accents. <laughs> She talks about some of the lessons and experiences uh, she's learned in life, which can serve as a motivation for others. So she's a motivational speaker. Um, Adana talks about her journey as a medical student and what it takes to achieve your dreams in life. Her motto is, you can have it all. Um, she also vlogs about normal activities in Dublin uh, on their vlog channel, because you do vlog with your husband, is that correct? And yeah, on the main channel, and then I do have the vlog channel. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, and she shares uh, beauty tips on air, uh, makeup, and GRWM. Get ready for me. Sorry. Uh, she does uh, some relationship, relationship tags uh, with her husband David, hence the name of the channel, Adana David. And they basically just have uh, fun. Uh, they've been featured on uh, RT on one of uh, uh, so Maya Dunphy's RT episode of What Women Want, and Adana had been featured in the Irish Independent for Best Street Fashion. Yeah, so basically it's you and David, yeah. like, right? So you're sharing a lot of, uh, is it relationship advice as well, or is it just uh, sharing your experience? No, the, with the relationship things, it's mostly the tags, like... People just want to see like a happy couple, it doesn't matter who, so we just do things together like the husband tag or 25 random things or you know something like that. And, and then with the vlog channel he joins me in the vlogs as well. So it's basically both, both of us running the both channels but he does most of the work in terms of the editing and putting up because as soon as I'm done shooting I have to go study. Yeah, I was just about to ask how you guys split responsibility on the channel if one person is responsible for scripting and the other one. Yeah. Um, we both take part. It's just um, prioritizing, in my opinion. So when I know that I have a bit of time, we kind of say, okay, we're gonna take this amount of hours to shoot the video, and then 
I have to go through this while you edit, and then when you're done, you go do your work and I take over. So it's just prioritizing, actually. Where did you guys get your inspirations in general? So we heard uh, Claire said she got inspired by James. <laughs> and we heard from, from Kian. What about the others? How, how did you get, how, how did you start? Uh, so my, I mean, starting YouTube was very, very random. We thought it was a good idea to record a 15 second video and put it up. So we did that and I think by the next week, people were calling me from America and Canada and England. And, Is that you and David dancing? Because someone had copied the video and it just went viral basically, and then we got messages from people saying, oh, we really love that, and we want you to start up a YouTube channel. So then we did. So it was very, very random. Yeah, I watched that video. There's some great dancing moves. <laughs> <laughs> and so it just went from there. So I, we, the, I just opened the channel, and the first night that I signed up and opened my channel, I had 3,000 subscribers the same day. So, and it, it's good. <laughs> It's gone like that. <laughs> you have done. Great dance you, It's one night you've done what it took me five years to do. <laughs> <laughs> you have to start I'm dancing, James. Just start dancing. I'm so Look sorry. at me. <laughs> and walk anywhere that you don't dance. <laughs>
Okay, I'm a teacher and I've got to try to, you know, I want to be myself on my YouTube channel, but I've got to toe the line between being the professional teacher. Um, um, so I'm just wondering how would you... Yeah, sorry, can I just ask what's, what's the content in your... Um, it's normally just kind of maybe lists, I know, yeah, exciting stuff. And uh, yeah, it's just whatever I feel like really. I have to decide what exactly I want to do. Do you know, I'll just advise you to keep going because I can relate to this personally. Okay, I'm in med school, no one, like the video that went viral was me dancing with my husband. I hid it for a while and I remember walking on the wards just before ward runs in the morning. And there was like a huge gathering of nurses and doctors and I didn't realise it was me they were talking about because then I walk there and they're like, oh, so you have a video of dancing on, the, on YouTube and I was so embarrassed. But then, before then, I had decided for myself, I knew that a lot of people subscribed to my channel because they thought it was cute that I was dancing with my husband. But I, I knew that what I wanted to get across my channel is to motivate people, to inspire people and to let people know that you can have it all if you prioritise and depending on how passionate you are about something, you can do it. So I wanted to get that across, so I already changed the content in my channel. I started to do talk about medical school, about life, doing tags that are fun, and I was comfortable with it. So when I got to the point that I was comfortable with the content in my channel, I didn't care whoever watched it, I didn't care if people, what people said to me, because I do have some of my colleagues that say to me, you want to be a surgeon, who's going to take you seriously? And I, I don't yeah. care who's going to employ you. And I said the people who wouldn't employ me because I have videos on YouTube are exactly the people that I don't want to work for. You know. And as long as when you go, when you look back in the next five, six months, you're not going to be embarrassed by your content. Then keep going. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Unfortunately, we need to wrap it up because we don't have much time. But it's been amazing to have you on the panel. Uh, been Thank you for having us. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you. I'm at a YouTube gathering ever, and I thought you were the most inspiring thing ever. You know, yeah. she was saying she watches TED Talks. You were like a TED Talk yourself. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I absolutely loved it. I'm actually putting my channel into your phone. Yeah, I just subscribed. So it's Riyadh and a K at the end. So this with the K. And actually, the fact that she does medicine as well, like that's even more inspiring. Yeah. Like, so people can subscribe. <laughs> Hey guys, we've come to the end of the event. It was a success. I don't know how else to describe it. It was amazing. I absolutely loved it. I love meeting everyone and I still think that it was such a huge honor to invite me to be a part of the panel. And what was much more exciting than that was after the panel, I did have a good number of people come up to me to tell me that I was inspiring and they love my positive energy and it made me feel really good. And David kept saying that I was so proud of me, so I was proud of myself. We did have a lot of things to talk about. We got a few questions from the audience and it was open to people on the panel to answer it. It was a very interactive session and I'm sure the people who flew in from London have good things to say. Okay, so because I was on the panel, we did get a YouTube goodie bag. Uh, so I'm just gonna open it. I have no idea what's inside here. Uh, I'm just gonna open it to know what I got. So, ooh, hello there. I got a YouTube hat. Well, hello. Okay, I think that's awesome. Then, oh, Chromecast. That is amazing. If you don't know what this is, YouTube it. 
Then the last thing, it's a YouTube t-shirt. I just wanted to say a huge, huge thank you uh, to YouTube to Google, to everyone who played a part in organizing this event. It was an absolute success. I'm looking forward to doing a lot more collaborations with Irish YouTubers and I cannot just wait. It is also exciting. Thank you so much. And I want to say a special thank you to Marco Denisi. Kisses to London, Marco. I hope you get to watch this video and know that I think you're absolutely awesome. Thank you to the rest of the team. Okay, there's so many people. I'm not gonna name all of them, but all of them were really, really amazing. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.